Hello, welcome back. It's Debbie from the Tarot Bee. I hope you're all doing well today. I am back with your tarot reading for the 25th of October 2022. We're going to shuffle the cards and see what message we have for today. If you're watching, please do like, share, subscribe. Give me a comment. Give me some feedback. What, how do you think the channel is doing? Good or bad feedback, all is welcome. Right. What message have we got today for the 25th of October? We're starting off with the Five of Pentacles. This is the card of despair, of need, of desperation. Okay, it can indicate financial difficulties. It can indicate dark times. So we'll see what lead, what's leading up to this. Got more indication on what's going on. To start us off, we have the Fool. Okay, so that leads us into this situation. So this may indicate recklessness when I'm seeing these two cards together. The Fool is usually about new beginnings. It's taking a leap of faith. On something someone and we are also seeing the king of cups in our future position card so the king of cups so we're looking at a water sign with the king of cups somebody who's very emotionally available Someone sensitive, someone perhaps coming in to offer you some love, some support. So what we're seeing is a new beginning, but this new beginning is coming from a place of perhaps darkness. It's leading you into some form of darkness, isolation, despair. So the feeling despair today, feeling loneliness, feeling out in the cold, feeling pushed out into the cold. We've had some form of new start. But coming in is somebody who's coming in a field to offer us some support. This comes from a place of love. There's genuine feelings here for, for you from this person. The King of Cups. So look out for that. Any other messages, guidance, advice for today? Any other messages, guidance, support for today? We're seeing the magician again. It always comes up in this position as well. Um, it always tends to come up in this position, which is support in that card. So the magician is a card of skills, power, using our skills, having the power to succeed. We're manifesting change. There are cha there's some big changes coming in and we're manifesting. We're in our power with this. Putting our heads together. Fight to find a way out of this dark situation that we're in. There's an inner Knowing with this card and inner guidance, trust your inner guidance. You may be wanting to trust your inner guidance right now to take a leap of faith on something, on someone, on a new project. We're using both our intellect and our intuition right now. We're following our intuition. This journey we're beginning is fated. It's time to tap into the universe flow right now to attract in money. If, if we are in that state of financial loss or poverty, we may be wanting to attract in some money. But what I see is a new love for sure with the fool and with the king of cups. This is a new love, new beginnings in love. Any other messages? We're seeing the tower. The tower is clarifying the five of pentacles in this read. 
So we have been through a massive change. This has come very suddenly, this change. It's brought our world crashing down. We feel like everything's crumbling beneath us. We feel the rug's been lifted beneath our feet. There's confusion. This is something has come out of the blue. It's a shock, a shock, sharp, sudden change. And it has led to this dark place that we're in, this place of suffering, loss, despair. We're also seeing the Nine of Pentacles here, clarifying our King of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles is an independent female or male. This is financial independence. This is strength, beauty, success, abundance, great riches, but tends to be a very independent energy. Someone standing tall on their own, enjoying what they have. Enjoying what they've worked hard for and a success. I see that this King of Cups figure is attracted to this in you. They, that's what they see in you. Any other guidance, messages, advice? Any other guidance, messages, advice today? We're seeing the Seven of Swords. Okay, the Seven of Swords often comes as, in as a warning. It tells you of deception around you, of somebody quite cunning, somebody who's planning, but possibly not for the best. It could talk about sabotage. What we're seeing with the Seven of Swords is some un uncertainty and I feel like that, that is how we're feeling right now. We're feeling uncertain. We're facing a problem, but we must use caution in this, in this problem. Must be guarded because I do sense there's some form of deception, sabotage around, um, Perhaps somebody's taken from you, you know, with, with these other cards here, the Tower and the Five of Pentacles. This is a loss. This is a big loss. This is coming very suddenly. You must have your guard about you. Somebody sees you as being very powerful. Someone sees you as being young, free, kind of free and single. Someone sees that energy in you and they want to take from you. We're also seeing the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is the start of a new endeavour. It's usually about business. It's the start of a project. It's a new idea. Okay, we could be thinking of a way out of this situation we're in. I see somebody in contemplation about that. Thinking about the future, planning a way out, planning a new start. We're seeing study and development with this, a curiosity. We could possibly be meeting somebody through work, our work connections. Or we may be expecting a gift of some sort. Okay, so there will be a financial gift coming in. It could be from this person that's around us. I do see somebody in our future energy there. Somebody with a cup of love for us. We are strong and independent. You know, this Nine of Pentacles does it normally indicate somebody who, who, is, who is wealthy, who is well off, who's not without. But something has been lost here. There's something has been lost, but there is new starts as well. We could be signing contracts. If we're signing contracts, I'd just be careful. I would just read everything carefully. Make sure you go through solicitors. Because we do see this card as well, this Seven of Swords there. In the future, we have the Four of Wands. So this is stability coming in. This is celebrations in the home. This is a firm grounding. This could signify marriage. It's possible that 
you know we have got marriage or a marriage proposal coming when we see the page of pentacles and the king of cups as well perhaps we need to be guarded about money around somebody else if we're thinking about starting a new future but generally this four of wands indicates positive happy times celebrations in the home okay you could be moving home as well any other messages guidance for today the 25th of october any other messages for today we've got the queen of pentacles in reverse okay so i do feel this is a bit of a warning with regards to, <clears throat> to a financial situation for somebody because this is talking about a questionable financial situation a lack of understanding we've not got all the knowledge behind us regarding a financial situation we don't have all the facts it could be that somebody's hiding some of the facts from us this can indicate reckless spending which i did see at the beginning here when i said i said when i see the fool and the five of pentacles together that i'm looking at rec a reckless decision it could well be that there's been reckless someone has been reckless with money we could be seeing a gambler addiction problems with manipulation this is a very manipulative person male or female this is a manipulative energy it's someone who overindulges it can be someone who goes the opposite way and who's very lazy someone's acting very carelessly and it's coming from a place of burnout it can also indicate sexual obsessions okay so there could be somebody around you who who is interested in sex and has, has become sexually obsessed with you because it talks about excesses card it's very similar to the devil energy anyone who embarks on a relationship right now that relationship is going to be going to be based on wealth only this person i feel is only interested in money and sex So I'll be very careful about who you do have around you and what they're promising you. Perhaps they're promising you mar marriage and a new start, a new beginning, a new endeavour together. Because you are in this place of financial independence. This is a new start for you and it comes from a loss. It does come from a loss. It comes from an ending. It comes from something that's happened very suddenly, a sudden sharp shock. You're very powerful though. You've got a lot of inner knowledge, inner knowing, inner guidance that's seeing you through this situation. You, I think you know this person hasn't got your best interests at heart. Somebody may have already taken from you. You may be, this person is very, very manipulative. You know, there's a warning about somebody around you for sure and, and, it's, and it's around finances. Somebody's taking from you because they're lazy or they're overspending. They're gambling. There's addictions, there's obsessions, overindulgences with this. Okay, I feel like I need to pull a final card today. I'm going to pull one final card from this deck. Any other messages, advice, guidance? We're seeing the Seven of Pentacles as well. The Seven of Pentacles is about a maturing wealth. Again, it's about comfort being comfortable, about inner growth. Inner growth, accomplishments is what which is what we're seeing with the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like whatever's going on in this situation, you are very well off. You are sitting pretty. Somebody has their eye on you. They want to settle down with you. You're because you are, but you're very independent. You're very strong. If you are starting on a new endeavor, this card signifies that things will pay off for you. 
hard work pays off with the seven of pentacles it's watching that seed grow and develop something's growing into something quite successful but I just be careful that you're not going into business with somebody who you's not trustworthy um be careful about signing contracts right now because it does look like you're sitting very comfortably you there is stability in your future it's possible you've got a genuine love coming in in the future but for sure there's definitely and this is in your current energy a very manipulative cunning person who's not trustworthy there's deception there's lies there's trickery so make sure that you are being sensible about this new leap of faith that you're taking, this new endeavour, this new project, this period of study, learning, development. Just be careful about any investments that you're investing in something um, with what you've got all the knowledge be behind you before you make any large investments. You know, it's funny, all the warnings are coming here in the middle. Your future cards do look positive. They do look positive. It's your, it's your current, it's the current present situation which is unclear. There's a lot of uncertainty around you, around somebody close to you. It comes from a place of a new start using your skills your power to using your knowledge to make a new start on a project you're aiming for this you're aiming for this stability love growth emotional stability as well as financial stability this is what you're aiming this is what you're working towards but it feels like you took a risk on something and it hasn't paid off because of the right, there is an untrustworthy person around you. I'm just going to pull one more card to get some advice on this situation. And then we'll pull a universe card. Any final messages for today, 25th of October? We're seeing the Ten of Wands. So when we're seeing the Ten of Wands, we're, we are burdened with troubles. We're taking on too much responsibility. It feels overbearing at the moment. We feel weighed down by problems, uncertainty. That the path is the path is difficult that we're walking on right now. It's like rough terrain we're walking on. It's a steep hill. It's an uphill battle. It's an uphill battle is what it is. Something needs to give. We need to drop something so that we can we can make that journey successfully, ease more easily. Okay, this is about feeling overwhelmed as we're embarking on this journey. So... A little bit of a warning there for us today, so take heed of that. I am just looking for my deck. Here it is. Okay, I'm just going to pull a card from the universe to finish off any advice from the universe today for us, the 25th of October. And we are seeing, I find a deeper meaning and personal growth amid the discomfort. Okay, so I've, I mean, I do see discomfort right now. That That is in your current energy. You need to look, look inside, look inside, look within. You know, you will have this personal growth. It will come in the shape of stability in the home, financial stability and emotional stability because I see that in, in the future. So we need to learn from this experience. We need to learn from it. 
and in that we will find the deeper meaning. Take care.